Well, welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Well, um, here we are into uh, a new year. My goodness, 2016. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about uh, supplement company cheaters. I'm not sure if you've uh, been watching what's been going on in the news uh, at the end of uh, 2015, but USP Labs, big indictment. I'm telling you, I've been saying this for years, supplement companies have been cheating. I first discovered this back in the early 90s when people were adulterating Mahong with ephedrine, the drug. That product would have never got banned if it wasn't for these cheaters. You know, the reason why we develop dietary supplements is to provide alternatives to drugs. So why would we want these supplement companies putting drugs in our products when that's why we're using these? So uh, kudos to the Department of Justice, FDA, for finally going after, and I hope they throw the key away on these guys at USP Labs and SK Labs, uh, their manufacturer. They went after their label guys and their formulators and everything. Again, if you haven't been uh, watching, you know, their Jack 3 and all these products that they do, they were putting drugs in that product, amphetamines, you know, testosterone type products, um, things to make their product appear to work like a drug. Well, guess what? It was a drug. Um, Apparently there uh, was over 117 uh, different companies. We've seen some companies that, uh, boy, just made up their research studies, made up doctors, were making such false claims. Another guy here in Montana was indicted. FDA went to him three different times and told him that he needed to take these false claims off his website. He said no. So again, he's getting jail time. Uh, SciFit, the ex-owner, uh, you know, again, cheating, counterfeited Crealkalin, um, and the list goes on and on and on. You know, uh, he only got probation, which he should have got some jail time for all the cheating he did too. But anyhow, point is, be careful the supplements that you use. Um, all these companies that are in these class action lawsuits for protein, because they're cheating. So do not go ever and buy these products. If you don't know where to find a list of all these cheaters, um, send me an email. I'll send you a link and you can read about it. Anyway, a little bit on uh, watching the brands you use. Make sure they're legitimate brands um, like EFX Sports or anything that I manufacture here at All American Pharmaceutical. That will always meet label claim. Anyway, take care and uh, we'll talk to you later.